Good morning, and welcome to this webcast about FortiGate VM deployment in VMware Workstation. My name is Lee Montano, and I'll be the English dubber of this webcast, made by Fabrizio Bolpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. FortiGate Virtual Appliance allows you provision to Fortinet security inside a virtual environment. All of the security and networking features we would expect in a hardware-based FortiGate are available in the VM2. FortiGate VM software is available for 32-bit and 64-bit environments. Both an upgrade version for existing FortiGate VMs and a greenfield version are available. We will use the second solution, available as a downloadable zip archive file. The one we will use is a 64-bit version. It is required to have at least access as a customer to the Fortinet support to be able to receive and use the aforementioned files. The archive contains the following files, as stated in the latest FortiGate VM VMware install guide. From the VMware workstation, we will open the FortiGate VM64.ovf file and import it in a folder. In our example, the destination is a directory located in an external storage. FortiGate VM Evaluation License We will use the evaluation license that is included by default in the FortiGate VM. This type of free trial license that includes all the features except FortiGuard expires after 15 days. The FortiGate VM must have only one virtual CPU and a maximum of one gig of RAM. Certificates are limited to 512 bits. First steps inside the FortiGate VM. As soon as the VM import is completed, we have to check the hardware granted to the virtual appliance, CPU, and memory as explained in the evaluation license explanation. We are also able to move the network interfaces of the FortiGate VM to any virtual network available in the VMware workstation. My suggestion, if we are going to build a lab environment, is to start with a host-only network. As soon as the VM is powered on, we are able to log in with admin, no password required, as we would with a direct connection to a console port. We will configure port 1 using CLI commands. Note, I will configure an address on my VMNet1 that is 192.168.112.0 slash 24. We will also have to enable administrative accesses using the set allow access command. Note, I have enabled HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, Telnet, and Ping. Config system interface. Edit port 1. Set IP 192.168.112.2 slash 255.255.255.0. Set allow access HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, Telnet, Ping. End. Then we are able to test the connection to the VM using PuTTY both for Telnet and SSH. Our browser should be able to open the HTTP administrative page. As I said, HTTPS with such a low level of encryption will not open in any recent internet browser. My suggestion is to raise the idle timeout value to avoid frequent disconnection from the administrative interface. So the HTTPS interface will not open in recent browsers. I was able to test it with a really old version of Firefox. Thank you for your kind attention.